Okay, what's up guys? So, yesterday I had picked up me a pair of some winter boots. Now I have some, but those are, I don't know. I feel like shoes like those, you can't wear those during the winter because if you mess them up, then them shoes is ruined. So that's why I'm like, those to me would be like some summer shoes. I would have to find like a summer fit to go with it. But uh, Tim's, I, I, they, um, I, well, a while ago I bought me some Tim's. But no, yesterday I was looking for these shoes. So I went to Kohl's. I went to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods store, and then eventually my final destination was Champs, the Champs store, and I found them. They said they had them in Kohl's. I went in there. They had them, but they were all black, and I don't do all black shoes, and they were a size 11, so I'm like, therefore, I know I won't be able to fit in those. If Tim's was big on me, and they were a size 10, size 11, yeah, them shoes is going to, like, I'm like the feet just gonna it's gonna look like you know how like when them like small little like hands that you could put on the finger that's going to pretty much be like my foot going in because it's just going to it's gonna be a world it's gonna be just pretty much my foot is just gonna be walking around that's Nardia when you get you a giant shoe and stuff but anyways or yeah it's gonna be like that's another thing feeling like a little kid wearing my dad's shoes again so and going through that, that was a younger time in my life. Now I gotta get shoes my size. But anyways, no, I had to go down half a size for these shoes, and they fit. They're fine. I like them and stuff. But anyways, I got the Nike uh, Manoa leather, and yeah, I like these shoes. I like them. Good pricing. So that's another thing that I would have to say about these shoes. Very, very good pricing, and um, I wore them today. So. Yeah, this morning it was snowing a little bit. I did wear them when it was some snow on the ground. And um, I didn't feel like no like slipping or sliding. So that shows like they're very good out in um, like conditions like that. Plan on wearing them tomorrow because I think they did say, let me check. I think they did say it's going to rain tomorrow. I don't know exactly when. So 10 a.m. So that's perfect. Perfect. Because then at 11 a.m. Oh, wait, man, this is Oregon. I was like, oh, I was in Portland. Hold on. So, tomorrow it might snow. Dang. 40% chance of it at noon. I, oh, and then, okay, so rain at 3 p.m. So, okay, so hopefully hopefully that happens and then the, the snow goes away and stuff. Dang, they say it's supposed to snow from 12 to 2? Hopefully that rain takes it out. But, um, yeah, so I, yeah, in some bad conditions, I do plan on wearing these shoes again. Um, but yeah, I wore these shoes today and I was like, the ground was kind of wet. I wore them in some like muddy, like, um, area and stuff. So as you can kind of see, it's a little dirty, um, at the bottoms, like right there. It's a little dirty, but overall I did read that these shoes, like the material they has, it's, um, very easy to clean. So, um, yeah, I was like, I definitely just got going to, uh, test that out and see how that works but um overall i just wanted to see like how good these shoes is gonna hold up like tomorrow and things for whenever it rains or snow so um yeah pick these shoes up and the great thing about it that these shoes is only 90 dollars only 90 dollars like for some good winter boots and then you have Tim's that's costing $200. So if you're looking for some good shoes, name brand, that's, um, yeah, because these are, uh, yeah, they're Nike. That's what I do like about them. They got, like, the Nike emblem on the side and stuff. But, no, if you're looking for some shoes that's, like, name brand good for, like, bad weather conditions and uh, good pricing, get you some of the Nike uh, Mano Manoas. I think that's what they're calling them and stuff. But, anyways, yeah, get you a pair of these. Or, or you can, like, if you want to, get you some Tim's if you don't really trust these shoes because you're all like, oh, they cost 90 something might be wrong with it. Because you think of it, it's $100 less. So that's why I'm like, yo, they, that, that's, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So anyways, now talking about the shoe, I'm off the bat going to just give this shoe a 10 out of 10 because I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I like just everything about this shoe and comfort. It's amazing like it's because with tim's so with tim's like there wasn't really a whole lot of cushioning with tim's like with these shoes there's cushioning of um like with these i have to say there's a little bit more cushioning with these than tim's although i will say about these shoes they were a little bit like tight on the toes 
So maybe I should have went with a 10. Maybe I should have just stuck with. I feel like a nine and a half is good though because. Uh, and maybe I think that was just because the shoelaces was just like all the way tied up. So I like maybe it was just like leave them a little bit loose and things and maybe they won't feel all tight and stuff. They did feel a little bit tight at times when I was walking. But other than that, I seriously, I like these shoes a lot. And I think these are just going to be my go to like winter shoes. I think probably the reason why they cost 90 is because like they know these shoes is going to get beat up. They know people are going to want to go out. I should have bought two pair. That's what I should have did. I should have bought two pair. I'm going to see if they got like, if they do got like another nine and a half. And um, yeah, with, like weather conditions begin. Because if you guys like know Washington State, like Seattle especially, it gets bad. It gets really bad. So that's why I'm like, I might buy me two pairs. Might get them. Um, because I think they got like a different color besides black. I think they got like a darker, like brownish color than this. So um, yeah, if they do, probably going to have to go with that. I'll probably go to this, um, South Center. South Center, they be having a lot of shoes and stuff. So, um, watch somebody watch this video, and they're all like, oh, let me go to South Center before he does. And uh, I should upload this video the day I decide to go. Then that's why I'm like, too late. I already got them. But, no, nah, it's like, go out, get you a bear. Um, I I'll stick with these ones. I'll see how these ones hold up. And, um, yeah, if they don't fall apart, then I think we got ourselves a good old-fashioned shoe here. But if they do fall apart, then, yeah, I, I definitely will come out with a video talking about it, most likely going to be heated because I'm like, yo, these are the first pairs of shoes that have never fallen apart on me. I've had multiple shoes. I've had Air Forces. Air Forces are the same price as these, all right? And them shoes lasted forever. I had, I remember I had a pair of these, like, like brown and white Air Forces. Them shoes had lasted forever. I went through everything. Them shoes was dirty. I wish I still had those shoes. Them do like those are had to be my favorite like beat them up shoes I've ever owned. So, anyways, another thing I'm like that's why I'm like it trips me out because they released those Gore Tex Air Forces and those was like 150. These is like 90 and. I, I like them. I'm like, so that's, I'm like, I definitely, I can't wait to wear these tomorrow to work and stuff so I can see how they really hold up and things. But overall, yeah, I'm giving this shoe a, um, a 10 out of 10 because I'm like good pricing, comfort, and then it's good for like bad weather conditions that, that, that hits home for me. So that's, I'm like, no, you're getting a 10 out of 10 in my book. So anyways, yeah, make sure you guys go out, pick you up a pair of the Nike Manoas um leather that's what it says on the box so that's what i'm just gonna say in the video but yeah go out pick you up a pair of these um you can read like a whole thing about them on uh like champs or the Foot Locker website because uh from what i've seen that they're easy to clean i like that um then it has like this like cushioning sole to it plus the uh of course like some like boot um outsole and stuff so yeah i like i like that and things i ain't gonna brush against it because it's I did, like I said, I wore these out in some, like, muddy conditions and stuff. So, anyways, um, yeah. Good, like, boot outsole. So, I think it's going to be really good. Because I was almost about to buy some cleats. I was like, yo, because if it snows, like, really bad, I'm definitely going to buy me some cleats and wear them out and stuff. Because I feel like cleats would definitely hold up. I'm like, football players be running in snowy and rainy conditions in cleats. I'm like, let me wear them shoes um let me give me some cleats real quick but i was like nah that cleats be cleats are expensive bro i'm like i there i was like i was not doing that then them shoes could have probably been breaking on me well i've been walking then the cleat done fell and i didn't like know how it feels when a girl wearing some high heels and stuff but um i thought the shoe was like ripping at the bottom i was like yo hold up no nah, i think no nah, it's like Ain't no way possible that's gonna happen because I feel like this this shoe is a tank. No, I'm like this shoe is a tank. This is one of the most tank shoes that I have right now. So, anyways, yeah, go out, pick you a pair of um, pick you up a pair of the Nike Manoa leathers, and um, it ain't even really like a leather material. That's like the thing that's kind of like I, it is, I guess, but it's like feels like suede a little bit. Like they don't really look leather and stuff. It's like some like maybe some like patent leathers. I don't know. It's some form of leather, but I like it. it ain't, it's kind of like, it's like that suede material, but it ain't like fading or anything. So that's why I'm like, I like it. I like it a lot. So definitely, y'all be wearing these shoes a lot. Because I feel like, yeah, just January, I feel like weather conditions get bad. February is going to probably get bad too. Um, Maybe any other day of the week, I don't know. But yeah, I'll let y'all know. I'll probably do like an update on these shoes, let you guys know and stuff. Uh, about them and things and just so comfortable in the inside too i was like i did that's what i did and i was just like no nah, like nine and a half are perfect because i double socked these 
And um, it was kind of hard for me to take this shoe off and stuff. So that's why I'm like, yeah, go out, get you a pair. If you're a size 10, go out, get you a pair of nine and a half, and they're going to feel amazing on you. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.